Hey y'all, what's going on? So I'm going to try to do this one talking. This is just a look. Just a really, it's looking blue, but this is a, a smoky purple eye. Um, you know, it is what it is. The color that I'm using, uh, Lord, y'all. Oh, when I finish using it, put the top on it. I'll tell y'all <clears throat> what color it is. But it's a pigment. Uh, I think this came from Sheena Marie's uh, website. It's a pigment. It's a purple. And the only thing that I did do prior to is I used my NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is Black Bean. <clears throat> of course, I used primer on my eyes well and just to cut down on time. So I'm just taking an e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm just kind of packing that on my lid. Um, right now, just kind of packing it on, and I'm going a little bit above, you know, kind of up to the what would what is my crease rather, you know. And uh, this is a really beautiful. I'm going to show you. I don't know if it's going to read. And see, it's showing up blue, but it's a purple. Even if it was a blue, it would be a beautiful blue, but it's um, it's a purple. And I'm just kind of putting that, like I said, on my lid and you know, up to the crease. And that's the gist of it. It may look a little messy right now. But I'm getting ready to... Um, oops. <clears throat> Whoa. I'm going to take this blender from uh, BH Cosmetics and just kind of just run over it a little bit before I go into the next black. That's it. I'm just doing that. And I use this tape so I could have, you know, kind of have like a crisp line. Um, the next color I'm going to use is out of my Sigma Burr palette and I will it's the Sigma Burr palette I will put a link below my uh, link for Sigma uh, below <clears throat> and these are the colors So the color that I'm about to use now is this glittery black and it is called Shine and I'm going to take my brush and just kind of dip it into that this this end of the brush and this is a brush that came with it it has a uh, dual end you know brush and it does come in these palettes any of the Burr and Durr palettes they all have that you know and I'm just going across and kind of starting to make y'all know the little V you know and of course we're gonna blend that out uh some we're gonna blend it out but this is like a smoky look um But we're just using purple. And y'all know I love purple. Those who's been following me for a while on my other channel, y'all know that I love purple. So I'm going to take this blending brush and just start blending that out. You know, up and out. When I first got this palette, I didn't like it. At first, I was like, oh, sir, they seem a little chalky to me. But what I noticed, I've used it more. I love the blacks in it and the neutrals. That they blend pretty well. They really do. Okay. 
and I know that looks a little deep now. Now, to deepen it up even more, I'm going to go into this matte black, which is called Control. And I'm just going to dip. That's just going to go inside that inner bead just to give it a little bit more, you know, deepness. This is not to be played with. This, I mean, really. I thought Inglot's black was black. But, honey. And this is a, I mean, this is truly a black. Whew. Okay. As y'all can see, that added some <laughs> little something, something to it. And again, I'm just going to kind of run over that a little bit. Even in there. I'm just kind of try to soften it up some. Um, here. I want the intensity, but, you know, I'm still learning how to blend, y'all. So, again, like I said from day one, when I first, you know, started this channel, this was more about me learning and trying to figure out what works. And if it looks a hot mess, I'm going to leave it up anyway and go back and learn from that. I'm just trying to learn. Now, I'm going to use my Rock Republic... Um, not to blind y'all. Press powder. Uh, cashmere. It's in color cashmere. And put a little bit on my brush. And just kind of use that to. I don't know. Make it work a little bit better. Just. Get the harshness out. And as kind of a transitioning. Like type of color. So, pat that again. And. That's basically what I'm going to do. I may have to go back in on this side because this side is pretty deep. Now, as for a highlight color, I'm going to use the um, Command, which is this gold color right here and just I'm just gonna take a where's the brow oh, here we go the other end of the Sigma brush and I'm just gonna dab a little bit on there because y'all know I have issues with the highlight and I'm gonna try to go in that highest point and just kind of sweep you know, blend from there, bring it down a little bit. And of course, y'all know I do my finish my eyebrow afterwards. I don't know why, but I do. Because I know if I don't, it's going to smudge. I'm going to have to redo it anyway. So, that's it for the highlight. And now I'm going to, while I got that on, I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses uh, Cream Liner <clears throat> and use my Kim Angle Eyeliner Brush and just kind of go across my uh, lash line. And I actually can control this better than my liquid eyeliner. I really be out over the place and shaking and curling on when I use that. Oh, Lord, did I put that in my lash? 
I swear it looks like it's in my lash, y'all. Y'all see that? I'm crazy. Um, and this support is probably going to be jacked up right here. And now I will take that off. And see, see what I mean? I always mess up the liner part. I just got to work on that. Okay. Now I'm going to take the same liner and go on my, in my waterline. Sorry if I'm not in the camera doing this, but y'all know where your waterline is. Come on, man. And I want it, I don't know. Heavy, kinda. I want it kinda heavy. I'm going for that heavy look today. Okay. Okay. Woo, wait a minute. I got a little piece on my eye, y'all. Hold up. And I ain't gonna be able to do this in my eye. Okay. I got a little piece of my eye. Okay. Now the next thing, and close to the last thing, is I took this uh, this 24/7 Urban Decay. Uh, shadow pencil liner, whatever, however, in delinquent. I believe it's just delinquent. Yeah, it's too small. But that's it right there. And I'm going under. Under my lash line with it. I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush, which is probably the wrong brush, and just to kind of, I guess, smudge it out. And I do have a smudger, but this is what I'm grabbing. It is what it is. And big fatty mascara. Did I just hit my, I might have. And y'all know I don't know how to put lashes on, so it would be so much prettier with lashes. But it is what it is. I am going to start practicing. All right. And that is the gist of the look yep one size a little bit more um, where is that one at honey where you at see this side is much darker and I probably could just kind of blend that out um, and but I'm gonna go into this and just, you know, add a little intensity over here because that's really what I wanted was the intensity. So, I'm going to blend that a little bit. 
and just a little hair. And y'all probably like much love. You shouldn't have did that the other side. That's the side that did look good. Well, when you do your look, do yours the way you do it. I'm going for in Elvira Vampirilla intensity. If that's an intensity. Anywho, y'all, that's the gist of the look. Let me put the top on this pigment. I told you I was going to start, start trying to do more uh, pigments. Dismissed. And I believe this is a Sheena Marie. It's dismissed. Y'all not going to be able to see it, but it is an absolutely beautiful purple. They say what brought it on. Very pretty purple. So y'all, I'm out of her. Now I will put on the rest of my makeup and that'll be it. I'll be back in here to share some favorites or whatever with y'all. If you're interested in the bur, the dur, or any of those palettes, you know, definitely click the link below and it'll take you to it. Um, let me show you a couple. They, it, it, at first I didn't like this y'all but I do now and these shadows are so easy to blend and that's what I'm digging and with this palette you also get the brush but I can't put it in here now because yes because I've used it so I need to clean it but definitely go over and check it out and they do also have the new purse palette but y'all it looks pretty but I'm on the fence because my whole theory is this and whether I'm using my Sigma affiliate link or not, it's a whole lot of beautiful sisters on the YT that could have contributed to that palette as well. Mm -hmm. And I would like to look at it and see somebody every now and again that resembles me. Mm. Something, something kind of like, you know. So, But it's a beautiful palette and I'm on the fence and I don't think that will be one whoops, that I will buy. Now, I'm going to still use my brushes. It is what it is. but And I may not. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm going to still use them or whatever. I just felt like on that, since you, since they chose YouTube, you know, so-called gurus on YouTube, um, it would have been nice because, you know, black women, us as sisters, whatever. Mm -hmm. Latino, whatever. You know, but definitely for the sisters, I would have liked to have seen someone that even resembled me. No, not exactly like me, but something I could relate to. Mm -hmm. To let me know that the colors do work on my skin. The blush does work for me. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. But they didn't. So, you know, I, that was just a little bit of rant. I'm a little aggravated, but there's the look, y'all. I just wanted to share that. I'm out of here.